straight line let's make it orange like I normally do I like to have the trend line be orange because that's the trendy thing for lines these days if you're going to a, the party a line party then you should be dressed up in orange because that's what trend lines that's trendy okay we get it so there's that let's go ahead and do this calculation then uh, uh, with our data ta set so we can do it this way so here's our data analysis if you don't have that it's in the file tab it's in the options it's in the add-ins I'm doing this fast because we've seen this before the Excel add-ins and then there's the tool pack if you want to run with the cool cats you need the analysis tool pack all right so then we're gonna say then uh, we're gonna say data and add the tool pack and we want to calculate the correlation data points are going to be these data points and I'm going to say okay I pick the label so I'm going to pick the label and check that off and then where do I want to put it not there I'm going to put it where does it need to be it's going to be right there in R R1 say okay and then boom so you can see there's a zero correlation between the x and the y here now if i did the same one less the last data point let's see what happens right i'll get a much different result so i'm going to say data output data analysis correlation and let's say that i take my data but i pick it up from here to here and i don't include that last point what do you think is going to happen let's see labels output where do I want this one it needs to be in a different spot you can't put it on top of the other one Excel put it over here and then okay so now you get a one which is a perfect correlation so this is this is the 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 without the last point so total uh, data set without with without last point maybe I should put this down here and or maybe I should put this right up here that's what I should do and then I'll make this a little bit wider and there we have it okay let's make this smaller okay so that's the point that's the point so we need to we need to uh, we need to look into it a little bit uh, deeper oftentimes still can't just rely on so if I for example if I was to use this thing and I just spit out this number and that's all I did then uh, then I would say oh, there's zero correlation but if I just look at the data with this small bit of data say well that like sounds kind of funny if I graphed the data I'd be like huh that looks like it's straight line but it's got a zero core that seems kind of weird and then if I actually did the z-scores like this I'm much more likely to say it looks maybe there's something more going on that we should be looking at all right let's make it nice let's put some blue borders around this home tab font group I'm going to go to the blue drop down if you don't have that blue drop down it's in the standard blue and let's put some borders around it and then we'll do that all the way across blue bordered border blue border blue border blue and let's do it here too for the border blue border blue and here too for the border blue border blue and then here too for the border blue let's make this top bit black and white let's go to the black drop down and the white for the header and this one's going to be black white for the header these all these could probably be thinner because uh, you just have a one in there that doesn't ones don't take a lot of space and then I can select all the skinnies I'm holding down control and then letting go of control holding down control so we can even out the skinnies so we have uniform skinniness all the skinnies should be uniform okay and then I can check the spelling because I think I got correlation correct this time look at that I know how to spell correlation now you spell it stupidly because that's the way that English does it with an E there when even though you say it with an A because that's how that's how you say it in American I speak American 
Anyway, you speak English. I speak Amer. Okay, whatever.